My name is Tim Shea. I'm uh, part of the quantum matter faculty at Perimeter Institute. So I, I study uh, the, the physics of, of many body quantum systems. These can include phenomena like uh, superconductivity, for example, or more recently, um, uh, quantum computing, hopefully. As a, you can view that as a emergent, highly controlled phenomena of, of many uh, degrees of freedom. And uh, so in, in addition to doing physics, uh, I'm also a violinist. I've, I've played uh, since I was around four years old. And uh, yeah, I think, uh, you know, I, I think violin and, and physics really go hand in hand. A lot of the things I think about involve uh, emergent phenomena uh, of, uh, you know, putting individual degrees of freedom together and seeing what, what emerges. And that's, that's nothing but uh, an orchestra of, of players. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely a, a very, very common question. Um, to be honest, I still have you know, a lot of difficulty <laughs> answering that, that well. Uh, but OK, so at the most basic level, I think, read, and talk to people. More abstractly, I, uh, I, I work in the field of uh, quantum matter research, uh, which is uh, a really broad field, um, arguably most of the universe is, is you know, effectively quantum matter, right? Quantum mechanics is our, our best description of, uh, of matter at the, the most microscopic scales. And so I, I think about uh, a variety of phenomena. So in particular, quantum matter is um, thinking about what happens when you put many microscopic degrees of freedom, like, like electrons or uh, maybe magnetic moments together, you allow them to to interact with each other, and the, the question is what type of emergent phenomena can, can, can arise from this big collection of, uh, uh, of you know, constituents governed by quantum mechanics. So I would say the people that are interested in and potentially you know, going to pursue physics to definitely be patient in exploring you know, many facets of physics, right? Uh, you know, physics is such a, a, a big area. Like, you know, here at Perimeter, we have so many different subfields of theoretical physics that um, one should first, you know, get exposure to as much as possible before kind of committing or, or narrowing one's uh, direction, right? Um, like, for example, I, I started out doing things in, in my PhD uh, that are completely different from, from what I, I work on now. I think uh, quantum, quantum matter research has uh, several exciting directions, and I think um, you know, two primary branches would be um, these artificial quantum systems being built on the road you know, toward a full-fledged fault-tolerant quantum computer. So there, I think, uh, as we develop these um, quantum systems that we can control very well, that are robust to, to air, to environmental noise, we can start asking about uh, you know, what new phenomenon can, can emerge given this uh, coherent control on this big quantum system. In some sense, we're kind of probing uh, uh, a very extreme frontier of the universe. This is like a, a, a highly coherent many-body quantum wave function, right? And we've never really been able to control something so precisely in this highly quantum regime.